when soils are managed carefully, when organic matter is returned to the soils, uh, when runoff is prevented and erosion is prevented, soils can be managed to dramatically increase the amount of carbon they contain. Recent estimates are that we could be sequestering in soils worldwide something on the order of one to two billion tons per year of carbon with the best possible management techniques. That is a significant fraction of the approximately 10 billion tons that we're releasing to the atmosphere. We're talking about massive quantities of carbon being stored back in the soil where it should be, um, rather than in the atmosphere. The fabulous thing about sequestering carbon in grasslands is that you can keep on doing it forever. You can keep on building soil on soil on soil on soil. Australian perennial grasses can live for 100 years. So these grasses can outlive their owners, basically. So they're longer lived than a lot of trees. Um, the carbon is more permanent than it is in trees. It's not going to recycle back to the atmosphere if we maintain that management. And there is no limit to how much soil you can build. Wow, look at the cover here. For the future of the planet, it's crucially important because we can sequester all of the excess carbon dioxide that's in the atmosphere at the moment, what we call the legacy load, we can easily sequester in our soils. Australian soils, for example, we would only have to improve carbon percentage by 1% on our 450 million hectares of agricultural soil in Australia and we could sequester all of the planet's legacy load of carbon. It's just, you know, it is this, it, <laughs> it's quite a stunning figure. <laughs>